Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad each of you are here with me today. Recently, I was honored to be able to do a home tour for my friend's YouTube channel. And some of you guys, most of you guys even, have seen that video and I'm so glad. I wanted to start off this journey though with all of you doing another quick home tour just to show you what my house looks like if you're new. And I also wanted to spend some time going into some of the rooms that we didn't even go into in that home tour. It's just my heart to share with you what our home, what our atmosphere feels like and looks like. I want to give you ideas. I want to talk about some budget-friendly ways to set your own home and your own atmosphere up to be welcoming, to be cozy, to be lived in, and to be inspiring. So we're going to do this together. Let's get started. This is my husband's office and we got very creative in here. I love a lot of things about this space. Um, we worked really hard to make it really um, cozy and manly, a little rustic, because um, this is his space, so I want him to be comfortable and meet him where he's at with the decor. I had a great time actually decorating this room because a lot of pieces were thrifted um, and very budget friendly. I'm very passionate about having spaces that are welcoming, that are cozy, that look great, but are also functional. And so trying to figure out that mix and that balance between both worlds is really important to me because I want my home to be lived in. I want my home to be used. And so adding things like these bookshelves or a copier, you've gotta make it look good, but you also have to make it functional. So that's one thing that we'll continue to talk about um, and learn on so that way you can have that in your home as well. So I know that not everybody is a fan of big open floor plans, but I personally am. I love, love, love our floor plan and having everything open downstairs. It's just a fun space. The kids run around. We can be all together all the time. And that is so my heart as I'm in the kitchen cooking or baking, as we're watching movies together, eating together. I just love having that whole space where we can all be together. One of my favorite little areas in our living space is this piano. So this piano was posted on Facebook for free and I snatched it up real fast. It was so easy to put a coat or two of chalk paint on it and just bring it to life. And I am going to definitely make one of my kids learn to play piano so we can sing Christmas carols every season. <laughs> there are definitely pieces in your home that I encourage you to save and splurge on. This antique sign was definitely one of those purchases for me. I feel like it definitely adds a unique little pop to my house. One thing about our dining room is that when you first walk in our house, it is one of the first rooms that you see. So I wanted something up there that just spoke to this young family that spoke welcome to our home. And this is the perfect sign to fill this space. I'll actually attach that Etsy link to this video for you guys in case you're interested in ordering something similar. Welcome to the most fun room of the house, you guys. This is our playroom, our video game room, our be loud and crazy kind of room, our competitive room. This is where all the fun happens. Y'all, I tried to film this about 15 times and Anna just insisted on coming and being in it. So we're just gonna chalk it up to a charity's YouTube channel kind of tradition for her to make her way in at some point in time. When I was decorating this room, I just wanted it to be a little funky, a little different, a place where we can come together as a family where the kids can be relaxed and um, just enjoy life together. So this is my craft room and it is the closet off of the playroom. So we took the wired shelves down and we added some new shelves and some decor in here. It had a window which I thought was so perfect and putting curtains up just made it feel like its own little room, its own little space and it turned out to be the perfect little size for me to have a little getaway. 
So this is the kids' bathroom, and I know some of you guys are like, what in the world, everything is white. <laughs> Well, I actually prefer it that way because it's easy to wash, to bleach, to do all the things, and it stays white. That's been my experience at least. I just love this little bathroom. Again, adding some shelves and some areas just keeps it practical, but also a beautiful atmosphere for them. I love these little frames that I found. I actually couldn't even find their initials in the frame, so I just repainted, threw some chalk paint on there, and put their own personal initials for their towels. It's just fun little creative ways to personalize it, make it cute, but also make it fun for kids. This is my boys' room. They still share a room, and hopefully they will forever because it gives us that extra space. I'm actually gonna do a separate video on their room in the coming weeks because I wanna share about how we organize, keep toys under control, and keep their room cleared out. One thing that I wanted to keep in mind as I was decorating their room was that how it could be kind of that big boy look but also still really fun for them and a fun space, space for them to have and to be. This is my daughter Everlyn's room, and the vision here was simple. Rainbows, color, princess, glitter, pink, all the girly things you can imagine. You guys, I had two boys before her, and I was so ready to have my girl, to have all the girly things. So her room was just a blast to decorate and just make all things girly, all things imaginative, dreamy, and really fun. A lot of times on these type of videos, I know it's not necessarily the popular thing to show things like litter boxes, but I just personally want to share that with you because I know we're not the only family that has to deal with things like litter boxes and dog kennels, but how to make it maybe functional and yet cute and creative since it is a part of our everyday life. So for me, adding a few shelves with some baskets that I actually have an appeal look to them but they're also functional was really important to me so that way it can be cute but it's also something I do have to use every day. This is one of my favorite spaces in our entire home. I love our master bedroom. When I was decorating it and just putting pieces together and shopping and just dreaming about what our master bedroom would be, I just wanted to create a really clean, fresh, relaxing environment and atmosphere to be. One of my favorite things in this room that Matthew and I worked on together was our little three window display above the bed. It's actually three different windows that we just put together. I actually made the wreath and the greenery that's on the top. It was just a fun project and I think it really just displays a very um, peaceful and just lovely view right there above the master bed. Another really fun project Matthew and I worked on together for the bedroom is our mirror that's over in the corner. It's actually an old closet mirror door that we took and we just got some wood from Home Depot, some of the weathered wood, and we put the border on there. And you guys, my husband is six, four. First time in his life, his whole self can be seen in our mirror. So it's practical, but it's also really cute. And it was a really fun project that we got to do together. 
I also wanted to talk real quick about our duvet comforter and shams that are on our bed. So many people have questions about where it's from and I just think it's really funny because it's from Pottery Barn Teen and when I was ordering and shopping online, I was thinking what teenager has a California king size bed? But regardless, it is so cute and it just adds that last little pop of fresh and clean look while also still being cozy. Thank you guys so much for joining me on my house tour today. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer them. Also, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, I would love for you to consider subscribing as well. See you guys next week. Mm -hmm.